the first man in space lied about it for four months. Why would you do that? <laughs> hey, curious kids, Kevin here. Today on A Place Called Space, we're talking about who was the first man in space. Well, there were 154 shortlisted Russian men for the job. Yep, Russia. You had to be 25 to 30 years old, weigh less than 79 kilograms or 159 pounds, and be no taller than 1.7 meters or 5 feet 7 inches. Not this guy. <laughs> the man chosen to be the first cosmonaut was 27 years old and 5 foot 2 inches tall. His name was Yuri Gagarin and he became the first man in space on April 12th, 1961. We actually celebrate this every year at an event called a Yuri's Night on the closest Saturday to April 12th. In Los Angeles, where I live, it's a party at the California Science Center underneath the Space Shuttle Endeavor. We dance and party underneath the Space Shuttle. I was actually highlighted as a space ambassador at Yuri's Night in 2019 in Los Angeles and Colorado Springs, which is pretty cool. Now the flight. On April 12th, 1961, Yuri Gagarin launched in his spacecraft named Vostok 1. His call sign was Kadir. Forgive me for my lack of Russian pronunciation, but it means Siberian pine or cedar. As he launched, Gagarin yelled, I'm gonna try this again, Pohoyakali, which means off we go. And this became a very popular phrase in Russia. This exact moment when he said off we go is what some are calling the official start of the space age. Because that's, that's when the first human launched into space. <laughs> well, Yuri and Vostok 1 completed one orbit of the Earth on this flight and it lasted 108 minutes as they went around. Upon re-entry, something went wrong. The cables that held the service module to the capsule failed to separate. So Yuri re-entered with an extra part of the spacecraft. That's gotta be really freaky. But then, it's okay. As planned, at 7,000 meters or 23,000 feet, Yuri actually ejected and deployed his parachute to return to Earth <laughs> on his own. However, Yuri and the Russian government lied about that part for four months saying that he landed with the spacecraft. Why? What's, what's so important? Well, the FAI, the International Aeronautical Federation, required that the pilot land with the craft. And this was for all of their standards and to keep their records. Now, once the ejection and the parachute information became public about four months later with another flight, the FAI revised its rules to certify and reaffirm Yuri's flight. Whew. That almost didn't count. Some technically say that it didn't, but it doesn't matter because we internationally recognize Yuri Gagarin as the first human in space and to orbit Earth. But it was his one and only space flight. Yeah, he never went back. He was actually grounded from going to space in fear of his life after the Soyuz 1 crew crashed and died on April 23rd, 1967 from a parachute failure. Yuri still flew jet planes though, until March 27th, 1968 when his MiG-15 crashed and he died. The true cause of the crash still remains a mystery today. Now, on to trivia. The answer to last week's question of which planet currently has the most moons is D, Saturn. This week's question is, who was the first woman in space? Is it A, Sally Ride, B, Valentina Tereshkova, C, Amelia Earhart, or D, Harriet Quimby? Tune in next week to get your answer. Always be curious. <laughs>